Hi kids, I'm Miss Lisa. Thank you so much for joining me for this music lesson today. I've got all kinds of songs and activities planned, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Our first activity is an action song, and it's a standing action song, so you make sure you want to move back, put your arms out, turn around like this, and make sure you've got lots of space and that you're not going to bump into anything in the room or another person. Okay, so you go ahead and get yourself comfortable, and I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same, and you just follow my actions. <laughs> Snowflakes falling to the ground Never ever make a sound They sit on my bright red nose And send that chill down to my toes On my head and on my clothes They're falling all around me Snowflakes falling to the ground we're going to talk about the melodic contour of that sound, song. So what that means is we're going to talk about the direction of the melody or the notes. So sometimes our notes are low and they get higher and sometimes they're higher and they get low and sometimes they just stay the same. So we're going to show the melodic contour of snowflakes falling, or at least a little bit of it anyway, with our hand movements. Okay? And so if our voice is going down, our hand's going to go down, and if our voice comes up, our hand will go up. So let's just try a little bit of that again. Put your hands up and breathe ready. Snowflakes falling to the ground, never ever make a sound. They sit on my bright red nose and send the chill down to my toes. So you'll notice that our voices were all over the place in that song. Sometimes they were high and sometimes they were low. Excellent job. And right now we're going to uh, sing a song about a dog. And this song repeats three times on the recording. And the first time through we're going to pat the beat. Now I'm going to pat my beat right here on my belly because I'm standing in front of the camera. But if you're sitting on the floor with your legs crisscross, you may want to put your beat right here in your lap. Just like that. So the first time we're going to pat the beat, and the second time we're going to clap the way the words go. Or another word for that is clap the rhythm. And on the last verse, we're going to go ahead and pat our beat again. So you just follow exactly what I do. Here we go. that our beat, it never changed. It always stayed the same. It's that steady pulse that we feel 
when we're singing a song or moving or playing an instrument. But then when we clap the rhythm or the way the words go, some of our sounds were short and some of them were longer. Little Tommy Tucker's dog, right? So the rhythm, the sounds in the rhythm are a little bit different. Okay, so that was really, really good. Now we have to determine or we have to figure out how many beats are in each group because our music is often most of the time divided into very equal groups of beats. And really the only way to figure that out uh, by listening is to count, okay? Count right out loud. So here's what we're gonna do. To help us keep track of our count, we're gonna tap the beat while we're counting. And every time we put our hands on our heads like this, we'll know that that's beat one. And that will help us keep track of where we are in our counting. Okay, so you tap and count right along with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I know how many beats are in a group. Do you know? I'm going to give you a second. Hold up the answer in your fingers. So show me with your fingers how many beats you got in a group. Did you get that number right there? Four? If you did, you're absolutely correct. There are four beats in every group in Bow Wow Wow. And if you were to look at a piece of sheet music with this song on it, you would notice that there's a symbol at the beginning of that music that looks just like this. And that's called a time signature. It's four, four. And it's really that top number that we pay attention to when we're looking to know how many beats are in each group. So that top four tells us there are four beats in a group. Good job. Right now, I want you to pick up an instrument, any instrument, if you have one. I'm gonna be using my Lummy Sticks right here. Uh, for this activity, but you may have some rhythm sticks in your classroom or home And if you don't have any instrument, you can pick up something that's around the house two pencils tapping together or There are all kinds of things around your house that you can use as instruments like for example These are this is my new favorite instrument. These are just two pie plates from the dollar store And I love tapping them together. They kind of act like symbols so you can use anything that you like, as long as you can tap it together safely and make a sound, then that's an instrument. Uh, but if you don't have anything to tap together, that's okay. You can still do this activity. You just need to use your hands. That's all. Okay, so I'm picking up my lummy sticks and I'm going to play a rhythm and your job is to listen and watch very carefully. And as soon as I'm finished, you're going to play it back to me. Okay? Or clap it back to me. And that means you're going to echo my rhythm, okay? So I'm gonna go first, you're watching and listening. Here I go. Now you go ahead and play that back. Good job. I'm going to do another one, so you're just watching and listening. Now you. Good for you. Me again, okay? Uh, okay, I got one. Now you. And one last rhythm. So remember, this is just me. And you go. So that, when I put my sticks apart like that, that's called a rest. And so that means there was no sound on those beats. And you know, the silence in music is just as important as the sound. Well, that's really important to remember. Okay, so now we're gonna do another action song. And this one requires a lot of movement. Uh, so you definitely wanna make sure you have lots of space. So I'm gonna start this, I'm gonna move back, uh, and you should do the same. Get comfortable and watch me. Take and take. 
shake your right foot now just where you stand while you're doing that you can shake your right hand jump now quick shake the other side and do the happy hop with your arms out wide we're feeling really great so we clap 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 point a tiny toe now tap 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 we're taking baby steps yeah we're moving on in and we'll do the happy hop while we wait so good. And you'll notice with that song, it says, um, we are taking baby steps, yeah, we're moving on in. So you have to move forward. And then every time I did the hot, happy hop after that, I hopped back to my original space, because otherwise you're just going to keep moving forward. So you got to move back every time you do your little uh, move forward in that song. Good job. Right now, we're going to talk about body percussion. So just a few minutes ago, we said that if you can, you can use basically any two items that you can tap together safely. And by safely, I mean without breaking something. Uh, any two items you can tap together can be an instrument. Uh, but our bodies, we don't really need instruments to make sounds. We can do them right on our bodies. We can snap our fingers. We can clap our hands. We can stomp our feet. We can pat loudly. We can click our tongues. There are all kinds of things we can do to make sounds with our bodies. And we call that body percussion, okay? And for this next song, which is kind of a silly song that I find really fun, um, we're going to do this body percussion pattern. So I'm gonna make this one pretty easy for us. We're gonna go clap, pat, clap, here we go. So you just follow right along with me. John Jacob, Tinkleheimer Schmidt, his name is my name too. And whenever we go out, you can hear the people shout. John Jacob, Tinkleheimer Schmidt, la 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 la. John Jacob, Tinkleheimer Schmidt, his name is my name too. And whenever we go out, you can hear the people shout. For you. Now what I'd like you to do is a little bit later, later today or sometime later this week, come back to this video and rewind it and do that song again, but this time make up your own body percussion pattern. So I'll still be doing the one that we just did, but you make up another one and you'll have lots of fun with that. I have one last song for you and we're going to do an action song and we're going to scoot back to the end of the room, back of the room and give ourselves lots of room to move. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out.